Salutations everyone, this is Razor bringing you guys another Overwatch 2 video where today I can't go through a Pride Month without talking about my favorite girl Tracer. Uh, so we got a Tracer video here for you today. Number one tip uh, at the beginning of any game, you have to pay your respects to the wife. And thankfully we now have two sprays to do so thanks to Pride Month. And uh, hopefully next year uh, her Farah soldier, life weaver, and Baptiste can get their own skins. Maybe that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but Tracer, not a character uh, that I, I make a ton of videos on, regardless of how much I do uh, like to play her. She's probably my favorite character to play because she's just my favorite character. So I just, I always have, and she's really fun to play as a character. Um, so I play her in any possibilities that I can, but there are certain ones that yield better results more consistently than others. Um, obviously Tracer, a very difficult character to play. For some reason, she keeps getting nerfed in Overwatch 2 over and over again. And this one is the most head-scratching of them all. Definitely didn't deserve it. I don't know any level where she's absolutely, uh, dominating and where she's an issue. And plus, they keep buffing everything that's good against Tracer, so I don't know why she also needs a nerf. A lot of questionable decisions in this patch, as we know. But Tracer, while she isn't going to do humongous damage, and she's not always going to get, you know, full clips into the head solo kills and things like that, um, you know, and she's not one of the stronger characters, or you know, stronger DPSs in the game, I would say, because we still have other characters who haven't been nerfed at all. Cough, Symmetra, Cough, Bastion, Cough, May got buffed. What? How does that make sense? Um... Tracer deals with a certain thing uh, in the game that I like to call an eyeball allowance. Now, I mean, every character does deal with this, but I feel like Tracer is a really, really good example of utilizing eyeball allowance to highly effective levels. So what do I mean by that? So there are a lot of interactions in this game that keep your head on a swivel, that you, a lot of things you have to keep your eyes on. And with Tracer, with all of her blinks and her recalls and her survivability to where she's on the field quite often, she takes up a lot of eyeball allowance. A lot of attention real estate is, is being taken up by her. And when a team combos well with that, not necessarily with Tracer, um, but when a, when a team can combo well to take up a lot of eyeball allowance, that can be not like an easy way to play the game, but a very simple and straightforward way to interact with the enemy team since they are most likely not going to be very coordinated, right? Um, with a Wrecking Ball, especially, is one of my favorite times to play a couple of characters, and Winston obviously works with this too. I, I just always love playing with a Winston, uh, especially when I'm support, but also when I'm a DPS, because that allows me to go dive to where I can get something weak and it gets finished off by the Winston, or vice versa. So when it comes to uh, a dive tank like Wrecking Ball or Winston especially, I wouldn't put D.Va so much into this category because her, uh, her dive speed isn't nearly as fast, is that with Wrecking Ball flying all over the place, he's fastest character in the game. He can keep up that top speed you know, all the time. When he's in a ball, he's, f he's faster than any other character outside of some brief cooldown windows, right? Um, so he's always going to be flying around. He's going to be uh, quite uh, sustainable as well. He's going to be living uh, for a while with the adaptive shield and spinning around. And he's going to be flying up, slamming down, rolling around. You're, you have to have your head on a swivel. And since he's the tank and he's got a lot of health, you have to uh, you know, allocate a lot of resources to stop that uh, wrecking ball. And a character like Tracer can take big advantage of that by also running around, giving a different angle. That's a lot of, pe a lot of pe things people might not, uh, might, why they might not be playing Tracer correctly or might not be able to unlock her full potential, is that they're not giving a different angle for the enemy tank, right? Because if you're just a Tracer on the front line behind a Rhine Shield or a, a Risa or something, there's you you're not utilizing her kit to get her full potential uh, out of it. You have to be at an off angle, and that's how you get your damage in. She's not going to be doing usually the most damage in a game, but she definitely can be if not checked properly, and especially when comboed correctly. So other characters uh, that can uh, synergize well or profit a lot from big 
eyeball allowance dumps like wrecking ball or tracer uh symmetra is really good because of her turrets if you you know lock down a position or you're ready for them to go around a, a corner or a new spawn or something like that as soon as they walk through that corridor to where those turrets are they then have to change their perspective to look and destroy those turrets which have a decent amount of hp for what they do right so that is going to uh create a lot of eyeball allowance very very quickly because those turrets rack up a ton of damage and her ults is one of the fastest charging in the game and can be very very useful so that's one tracer obviously another wrecking ball your, your winston's uh, a big benefactor of big eyeball allowance allocation would be Widowmaker. I love playing Widowmaker along with a Wrecking Ball especially because they have to worry about him flying in. And they might not be playing in safe positions and they reveal their head and then pop goes their freaking weasel. And my Widowmaker can absolutely carry without like actually carrying. Like the stats make it look like she's carrying, much like it makes it look like I'm doing insanely amazing as Tracer in this game where I go 41 and five. But really I was, I was just following the wrecking ball and I was taking what was given to me because they were so focused on them. You know, they're switching to, to Reaper. They're trying to get dynamites with their, uh, with their Ash. And, and they have uh, a Zenyatta to try to discord him. You know, three you know simple, smart ways to combat against Wrecking Ball. But I'm taking advantage of those picks to where that Zen is not going to be protected. Their Ash is going to be ADSing, right? And so I'm able to fly in and get those kills very, very easily. And that's all that my... Wrecking Ball is going to be able to need to turn the tide in the tank fight, even though they have a nice stable anchor tank that's not going to be booped around or take a lot of burst damage from a Wrecking Ball in Orisa. They're playing that angle of that matchup, but uh, at an off angle, I mean, that's a, that's a lot of headshot damage and easy uh, pulse bomb sticks when I get them. See, their DPS, they're, they're lined up here to force the wrecking ball to come after them and then orissa can just javelin spin at our back line to where it might be a very good idea for them to be up there but i come in take out the symmetra take out the ash by myself without any help and the orissa has to pop out her cooldowns and an ultimate in order to stabilize that fight to where we've now trickled kills and forced an ultimate out and I'm the only uh, survivor along with the Wrecking Ball, so we don't really lose presence on the cart, even though we didn't win that fight outright. Because like I did my job, took out both of their DPS, um, but then you know their Arisa kind of like wiped out the entirety uh, of our team uh, with that ultimate there. But you know we didn't we didn't lose cart, we didn't lose progress, and we didn't lose like a, a foothold. We didn't allow the Arisa. Uh, and the rest of the team to get into a stable position in order to hold the rest of the points. Their Ash may be at the high ground right now, and I'm not there to challenge her, but I can focus down on the Zenyatta here and then work to the Orisa because the Ash has no LOS against me, right? So they're popping their ults, they're doing their best, hitting the, the Pulse Bomb, kills the Zen, but of course the Orisa uh, was fortified. So uh, while, while Tracer... Uh, has some bad matchups and some uh, team comps that she doesn't synergize super duper well with where, yeah, you might want a long range hit scan or something consistent or spammy like you junk rats and your soldiers, you know, possibly a far if you got a mercy with you, things like that. Symmetra, um, very, very consistent. But with the with the different angles of height here and the fact that there's nothing that's going to be really, really strong uh, against uh, counteracting my movement because i i got wide angles to avoid and then destroy those symmetra turrets uh their zenyatta has no protection and we can kind of uh, not necessarily need big focus damage or call outs to go after a single target because i have enough uh freedom due to the eyeball uh real estate the eyeball allocation or allowance whatever i said at the beginning of the of the video I'm not sure exactly what to call it, but I think you get the gist of it. Um, there are other characters. Farah, you have to look into the sky for her uh, to either A, kill her, 
or be in a position where you know where her rockets are coming from and you aren't going to be completely spammed to death by them very, very quickly at long ranges. Those consecutive rockets can come very, very fast because of the travel time, right? So Torbjorn turrets, that's a little bit of all location. Uh, Bastion, whenever he's got his... Uh, his uh, cooldowns popping off. That's some eyeball allocation taken up there. Lucio, a little bit if he's going like super DPS mode. That's going to take some eyeball allowance. And if there's any other characters, I mean, Reaper teleporting in, phasing in, all of a sudden all the eyeballs get drawn there. And then other characters can piggyback off of that eyeball allowance being taken up to where they're not going to be able to see or pay attention to all of the threats because there's there's rockets coming from one way there's you know a turret another way there's tracer another way there's a tank diving the other way there's a lucio booping them off on the other way if you can make such a, a simple but difficult thing to do difficult for your enemies they're off their footing they're in an awkward spot and that can lead to a lot of simple but not very easy wins if you put the work in and have good synergy along with your team